Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on October 28, <clears throat> 2011, and it's 11.16 p.m. Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, occupiers do not have a message. Let me tell you what occupy means. There are currently about 600 groups around the world that are doing this but 99 percent of them are legitimate and i'll tell you why there are millions of people dying every year in all these countries their government that rules them are illegal they're there by coups so the citizens of these countries want the food because the government took their food, burnt their housing, destroyed their means to make a living, the means to eat, the means to have water, shelter. So the citizens of these countries want the food, shelter, medicine that has already been sent to them, but the illegal government withholds these things because the deaths of thousands of people is what they want. These are legitimate occupying or complaints. The illegal occupiers are those who want free land. Who wants part of Israel? Who wants part of Jerusalem? There you go. You call them the Palestinians. These are illegal. American occupiers only want one thing. What's free? Money, not land, not jobs. They want health care. They want housing. They want free food. They want free money. And they want those, the upper 1%, to pay for all these things, the multi-billionaires. They also want the ones just below, the second two and three percent who are multi-millionaires. That's it, money, free money. And all this is Obama's idea. They want these people to pay them. This occupation is not meant to be a friendly sit-in or marches. They are intended to change or try and make a law that is or has been interpreted or misinterpreted in a way to make this law give more general support of funds to those who have never, pretty much never, had to work for a living because they have always been paid, not because they were rich. That money is running out. So a new way around a law that has been used to allow them to continue living this way is going away. The old law can no longer pay. The states, they're running out of money. These measures, they're all failing. Occupy L.A., Atlanta, Wall Street, and Oakland. L.A., first mentioned bloodshed. Oakland had riots. And all of a sudden now, all four of the ones mentioned have had large amounts of arrest for violence. They've not mentioned the dozens of others that you don't know about. Wonder why. People are paying them to do this. You won't know who the top person is, but you know who the top person is by ordering this, and his name is Obama. In other words, Occupy has backfired. It has failed, but it might have rebirth a new wave of violence. One that can spread a nation. We need to watch this closely. We need 
to pay attention. And I'm going to tell you why it can get out of hand in a major way very quickly. Since the news didn't mention the number of hot spots in other places in our country, I won't either. But these towns, these cities, these states, they're running out of money. They're running out of money they don't have anymore. Be aware. Listen. Watch your house. Sleep with one eye open. I say again, through one man to another, and so on, and so on, it'll all lead back to one person. My opinion, Obama. And I say my opinion only for legal purposes. Who else would gain from this or could gain from this? No one. Why would this be happening without a cause? It shouldn't be. So someone has to gain and Obama's the man. These who are the occupiers are right opposite of the Tea Partiers. The Tea Partiers were at all times peaceful while the Democrats were non-peaceful. Every event they had, people were arrested for violence and they were arrested by going to tea partiers and creating violence. And even upon news crews, they were arrested and they didn't stop there. They went to the tea party meetings and did their dead level best to start fights for them as well. Tea partiers did not. They never were arrested and they left their places cleaner than they were than they were when they got there. People, this is just the beginning. And the reason is, I'll say it again, states are running out of money. They no longer have money to hand out to these losers. I have a past blog on this very scenario. I stated a year ago, the first state to run out of money would be California. They did. The second, New York. They did. The third, Illinois. They did. You are now seeing my prediction come into pass. And this is just the beginning. <clears throat> As I told you, we are going to rebirth something new out of this, and you're not going to like it. I'll tell you what just took place, or what to look for, I'm sorry, in the near future for this, for this too will come to pass. They will gang rob stores, which has already begun. Convenience stores and Walmart so far and others. And not too far in the near future, inner city Home invasions will occur. First, it will be daytime because they know people will be at work. It will grow into an easy way to get food, money, and weapons. After this, you will see nighttime burglaries. This is when people will start to die because homeowners will protect their homes and their families. Then you will see curfews. You'll have to, unfortunately. Again, who stands to gain from even the curfew? Curfews can easily lead into martial law. Once again, who stands to gain from martial law? It's just what the president ordered. When this happened, Obama, and it will happen, has reached his goal. Jody Wolf, Exposed.